Hey, vinyl community, and welcome YouTubers from everywhere. It's been a little while, yeah. Brush off the old hat a little bit, and let's give it another try. Hey, haven't been sitting here listening to records all the time. Went out the 4th of July, which is an unofficial Burning Man event, so can't cancel something that's not official. Now, of course, due to COVID and just being hot summer, wasn't a ton of people out there, but the one event here I'm just mentioning is uh, we got a notice that, hey, at 4 o'clock, we're going to do Pink Floyd. Dark side of the moon, and so we showed up at four o'clock. Yeah, at these kind of events, the party doesn't get going till after dark, but we were there in the early afternoon. You did just a couple little quick pictures here. Uh, it was a good setup. They had a good sound system. They had the, what we could call a dance floor. And my only complaint, maybe it was the music was just a little bit too loud, but to power all of that equipment, they had a pretty big generator going. And the good news was the music was loud enough you couldn't even notice the generator. So it was interesting. And so we got some Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, and danced a little bit. Five audio file, great sounding audio file records plus one. Well, if it's an audio file record, it better be sounding pretty damn good, hadn't it? What got me going on this was a couple of UVC members, and first off, Bob Bradley, he likes to do this uh, bit called the Records That Sound Great. And uh, one that he showed here recently, which he had started picking up some reissues because... Some of these records, the originals are really hard to find. Saxophone Colossus, Sonny Rollins. This is one of the top records of all time. This is the 2013 Analog Productions Mono Edition, uh, remastered from the original ta tapes by Kevin Gray. Something else great about this record was uh, there's only four copies for sale on Discogs right now. The cheapest one, $200. I got this record for free. This was VCLT from my buddy, Baraka P. Dub Paul. Thank you. And this was one of the records he sent me that got me more interested into what I call modern jazz. I'm not taking these out and showing them. Everybody's familiar with these and seen them. Of course, this is a fantastic sounding record. Right along that same vein, we got a fairly new member in the vinyl community, 45 RPM audio file, a gentleman in Germany. He's just been showing audio file records. Dire Straits, Love Over Gold. I'm a fan of Dire Straits. I was not familiar with this record and did not have any copy of it. And uh, this is uh, 2 LP 45 RPM. Uh, I got number 1288. And uh, these are, are just starting to get hard to get. I had to pay just a little bit to get this, so pick them up. But he was talking about, do you have somebody come over to your house that doesn't know what all this stuff's supposed to sound like, and you want to put on a record that really demonstrates what an audiophile record and a system sounds like, this was his pick. Well, that was enough to sell me, so I ordered it. And I would say uh, probably this record has some of the most dynamic range on it of any of the records I got. The music's a little different than the earlier stuff but uh, of Dire Straits, but uh, just an outstanding record. And so that kind of got me talking, thinking, wanting to show a few of these records. And I probably, like all of you know, we don't know how many of anything we got. I probably got 150 to maybe 200 audiophile records. I've shown quite a few of them over the years. And they all sound good, but I've just picked out a few here to highlight. Being issued in 2017 by Vinyl Me Please Classics. This was the second edition in their classic series. And I highly recommend that series. This is a scarce record, I believe, the original for 1960. Uh, this was pressed at GZ Media and mastered by Kevin Gray. 
Now, uh, in the early days, GZ Media had a little bit of pressing problems with quality control, but they've got all of that under control, and this record is an outstanding-sounding record and highly recommended, and I wanted to throw this in here because Vinyl Me Please doesn't always get the recommendation. Their classic series are all being remastered, from the original tapes and pressed on high quality vinyl and uh, this record the cheapest version on Discogs $175 I think in Italy if you want a really good copy it's $300 this is the uh, most valuable one in their classic series but it's just an idea is you don't have to just buy what you think of as audiophile records to get a great sounding record Recreate the original Impulse labels. Black vinyl, of course. Peter, Paul, and Mary's first record came out in 1962. 1962, I was living in Hawaii, and I bought this record when it came out. I don't still have that original copy, but I do have a nice OG copy. There's kind of an interesting story with this. I wanted this record. This record was reissued in 2014 by ORG, a double LP, 45 RPM, remastered from the original tapes by Bernie Grunman and pressed at RTI. I've tried to order this several times from a record a mail order thing here a couple of years ago, and it was always said back ordered. I thought, I'm going to forget about it. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in on back order. Way over a year ago, I ordered this record for $55, the regular price. I just got it about a week ago in the mail. Somehow they got one in stock and they fulfilled that order. This record now, only four copies of this for sale, this version on Discogs, $225. So just because they say out of stock, if you really want something, maybe just go ahead and put in the order. It's probably good if you track it. I'd completely forgot about it, but boy, I was thrilled when it came. And does it sound great? Hey, they don't have to be an audio file record to sound good. Another Vinyl Me Please, this one an exclusive a reissue, a limited reissue. This one was limited to 300 copies. I got number 148. Dream Wives. This music uh, in the post-punk category. Real nice inner sleeve. And some nice clear pink splatter vinyl what's that sticking to the record well that's a download card so congratulations to vinyl me please this is the plus one you've heard me say over and over my favorite category of music is female vocals well with that in mind this analog productions it's a double lp 33 rpm but all tracks have been remastered from various records uh, there's two different versions of this. This particular one here is the Los Angeles and Orange County Audio Society Limited Edition. You can see on the sticker there, limited to 500 copies. I got number 105, signed on the inside here by Michael Fremmer, who wrote the notes to the music. We start off with Julie London, Cry Me a River, Ella Fitzgerald, Phoebe Snow, Dusty Springfield, Shelby Lynn, Ricky Lee Jones, Diana Krall, Jennifer Warnes, Janice Ian, Nina Simone, Patricia Barber. If you like female vocals, this is a great sounding record. Pick it up. This one comes on silver vinyl. Uh, has a little bit of a marble effect to it. This is a great sounding record. Uh, when I ordered this, it was what they had in stock, and the black version, their regular version, was out of stock. Well, uh, that's another one. I put in an order for it not too long later. They repressed this. I won't take it out. This is just the regular black version, and it sounds great too. So if you like female vocals, you can't go wrong with 
the wonderful sounds of female vocals. Still available. Yes, my New Year's resolution was to cut back on records this year, and I have cut back significantly. In fact, hate to say it, haven't actually been in a record store for a couple months. Nothing to do with COVID. I've just been doing other stuff. But I have been listening to music, and uh, thanks to the post office and UPS and Federal Express and all those guys, I still get a record every once in a while. So I say keep them spinning and see you all down the trail. Happy trails to you. Until